here are five ways to get the fastest playback in the Ventures of 19. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Now the first method is very simple, it's just adjusting your timeline resolution. Sometimes depending on the system that you have, a 4K timeline might be just a overkill. So one way that you could go ahead and check on this is for example right here, I have my face cam and if I go to the metadata, it's going to show you the resolution of what I recorded. So when you see the 3840 by 2160, that means it's a 4K footage. Now, if you go to your timeline, it might be actually in 4K. And for some systems, this might be just overkill. One way to fix this is by just simply going to the 4K, which is the Ultra HD, and lower it down back to 1920 by 1080p. You're going to see a nothing change but it actually does help a lot on your system instead of editing on 4k back to 1080p now the second method is simple as well you want to go to your playback and on timeline proxy resolution you might have this in full so what full means it means it's going to get the highest quality possible from your timeline right but sometimes like i said just depending on your timeline it might just be too much for your system you could lower it down to quarter. Now, what that's going to do is that the video is still going to play good, but it's going to look kind of uh, low quality. So if I click on play, you, how to make a 3D rotating logo. you can see the difference. This is the low quality. If you go proxy and click on full, now this is the highest quality. Now, the third method is just one button, which is disabling the bypass color grades and fusion effects so this is going to get rid of any text color grading or effects that you have in your video for example right here we have my intro if i go ahead and disable the preview it's going to remove the color grading and any effects that i have added for example if i turn it off this is how my footage actually looks which is pretty ugly i know Another thing that is not going to notice is the text right here. So right here, you can see that there's a text, but in my video, you can't really see a text. If I click it on on, uh, it's just probably gonna load a bit. There you go, there's a black box because it doesn't recognize the font. So I just click on this font and we should be good. Now, method three is the render in play. For example, right here, I added the sharpness effects into my video. So if I click on play, it likes. Now, one thing that we could do, like I said, is the render in place method. You want to go ahead and grab what you want to go ahead and uh, fix or watch smooth playback. So you want to go like this. You want to right click and click on new compound clip. Let's create. Next, you want to uh, right click one more time and click on the render in place button. Right here, you click on your MP4, your codec, uh, your encoder if you have one. If not, you should be fine. And finally, click on render. Perfect. So click on render, just click somewhere for your video is going to be and it's going to literally render in place. Depending on your system, this might be taking a couple of minutes or even seconds. I only recommend this method for a small clip. You don't want to do this for every single clip that you edit, but for something small, you should be fine. Now that's done, right? This is the before of my playback. And this is my after. As you can see, there's a big difference. Now you might be saying, oh, gotcha, but what if I want to go ahead and adjust it? Which you can actually do that. You want to go ahead and right click and put decompose to original. So it's going to give you your compound clip. And if you want to de decompose it one more time, you click on decompose in place using clips only and voila, back to normal. Now the final method is going to be at the top left of your DaVinci result. So let's say you bought a PC, right? A computer or just a very high end laptop. You go to your DaVinci Resolve and go to preference and click on memory and GPU. Now I actually have 64 gigs of RAM. The RAM is what makes your uh, video editing uh, a little bit more faster. I'm not going to dive too much in, into details, but let's say that you know that you have 32 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of RAM, or even more. But sometimes, right? I'm just saying sometimes, this could be your numbers right here. You might have this like all the way low for some reason. And even if I have 64 gigs of RAMs, but these are my options, the bench result is going to have a hard time editing my clips. So what I would just recommend is just look at this uh, interface 
and unlimited resolve memory and fusion memory just increase it all the way towards your right i could go ahead and make a part two if none of them work but these are the most uh common ones that i use there's other ways but i just wanted to make this video as short as possible so this is why i only shared five tips so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did don't forget to please subscribe hit the like button and see you guys later take it guys